What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and we do have an official confirmation of Warzone releasing tomorrow. I'm going to link all these details I'm about to talk about down in the description. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible so you don't have to sit here and listen to me for a long period of time. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. The biggest thing out of all this information today is this game will have a, or the Warzone Battle Royale mode will have a free to play version. If you own Call of Duty Modern Warfare tomorrow, you'll have an update from 20 to 30 gigs depending on your platform. If you do not own Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you can still download Warzone and play it for free. It will be between 80 and 100 gigs depending on what platform you play on. This way we'll have a massive player base. I thought Treyarch should have done this with Blackout. That's what I was really hoping they would do, release, the, uh, release Blackout for everyone. It looks like Infinity Ward has learned from that. And Warzone will be available to everyone, whether you own Modern Warfare or not. And you will be all in the same lobbies together. It's not like the free-to-play version will be in a separate lobby than the people that own Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Everyone will be playing together. And I think this will be very good for the game, in my opinion, going forward. It will have full cross-play support, just like the Modern Warfare game does. So you can play with your friends on PC, Xbox, or PS4, no matter what platform you are playing on. The next thing uh, that was pretty interesting was the amount of players. So far, we know there's going to be 150 players, 50 teams of three. So it's going to be trios. There's no confirmation on any other amount of teams like solos, duos, or quads, anything like that. Right now, on release day tomorrow, there's only going to be trios. Like I said, 50 teams of three, a total of 150 players. There will not be certain different or different types of certain armor that you can pick up like some Battle Royale games. They're going a little bit different with this game in my opinion. You will see with a lot of the changes they're doing or kind of things they're doing for Warzone compared to other Battle Royale games. But most Battle Royale games have like level 1, 2, or 3 armor. This game, everyone will have a certain amount of health and you can put armor plates on which can give you a total of a 250 uh, health with three armor plates. So you don't have to worry about finding different armor pieces. You just have to collect armor plates. Uh, you will have automatic health regen. There will be no med kits or no bandages. They said they wanted this to be a fast paced mode, uh, kind of like a Call of Duty game, you know, like Team Deathmatch, Dom, whatever you're playing. They want it to be a fast paced mode. So they want automatic health regen. So you don't have to worry about going to heal up or finding bandages. You know, you can get in and get out of a fight very quickly with auto health regen. They said there will be a stem shot available on the map. It will be a very rare drop, but that is one way that you can heal yourself. But if you do not have a stem shot, don't worry. You still will auto regen your health. Uh, the next thing is uh, that I thought was kind of neat is they're adding a gas mask to the game. That way, when the ring closes, the gas ring closes like every battle royale. They, this thing is going to be very fast and very aggressive. You can stay inside that ring as long as you do have a gas mask. You can find a gas mask, which is a very rare drop, or you can purchase a gas mask with cash that you pick up in game. I will get to that cash, uh, what, what the cash does here in just a second. There will also be contracts in game, which will earn you XP, uh, which for weapons, of course, you know, for experience, or will earn you cash. Of course, you know, it's kind of like a contract or anything you would, like normal contracts you would see in Call of Duty multiplayer, but that is a neat addition in my opinion as well. You can buy stuff with the cash that you earn at buy stations in game. And the things that you can purchase, like I said, is either a gas mask, a self revive kit, a munitions box, a loadout drop marker, armor plates, and kill streaks. The kill streaks I'm kind of wondering about. They said you only can carry one kill streak at a time, so you can't have multiples on you. I think this is could be good, could be bad. We'll kind of have to wait and see. But like I said, all that cash you make in game, you can go to these buy stations and buy these certain items. I think the gas mask is definitely going to be on everybody's list to buy pretty early on. Uh, they're going to have a ping system, kind of like Apex, if you want to ping something for your teammates to pick up, which is pretty handy in my opinion. Also, there will be a mode besides just Warzone that's called Plunder. It's going to be based on how much money a team can earn to kind of win the game. So they said if you don't want to play the kind of, you know, intense game of Warzone, if you're looking for something a little bit more casual, that plunder mode will be there as well. There will also be no backpack, but they said there will be an inventory. You can hit down on your D-pad, which will bring up your inventory, and that will show you the different things that you ha have on you. You can carry two weapons, a lethal and a tactical. I'm assuming this inventory is going to hold your ammo, uh, maybe like the gas mask and things like that, but so there's not going to be a backpack inventory to go through. And the neat thing that they're also doing in this game, you do not have to go over ammo and pick it up, you know, with the hitting, hitting a certain button. 
they said you can just walk over ammo and it will pick it up kind of like it would be if you had scavenger on in game or, or in a game of multiplayer anyway guys that's all the info i have for you right now leave me a comment with your thoughts like i said all this is linked down in the description if you liked it hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live if you have a chance share the video it does help out the channel a lot uh, be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They do sell gaming chairs and office chairs. So if you're looking for something like that, definitely give them a look. Uh, they got some nice stuff. So on that website, I use one of their gaming chairs myself. I've had it for over a year. And it is very comfortable and a very reasonable price when I purchased it. So give them a look, guys. All their information is down in the description. I'll catch you next time. Peace.